157 injection okay. and uh, TV 500. Okay. Uh, and the guy that prescribed it for me also prescribed PPC, although I'm not sure that's really helpful for my situation. Although I have it, I've only taken it twice. Okay. So I don't know if you think I should just kind of continue doing that. I'm almost out of the PPC and the TV 500 now. Okay. But I've probably like a couple days left. Okay. I could bring those. I don't know if you would add anything to that or subtract or refill that for me or whatever. I mean, I can't say right now if I would add or subtract. I mean, we use BPC and thymosin beta-4 quite a bit in our patients. Yeah. We also use them in with our injections as well. So I usually include, especially for the, uh, the thymosin beta-4 is super great at reducing scar tissue formation and fibrosis. So I usually include anywhere between three to six milligrams of thymosin beta-4 in with our injections oh, cool. on the day of. Yep. And so, but during our first appointment, those are things that we would go over. So even though our focus is going to be the procedure, uh, there'll be some other uh, adjunctive supplements and peptides that we'll discuss during our first appointment to help augment and support the healing process from your injection.